did Naomi, am I making this up? Didn't Naomi and Lana come out together? Do the glow entrance together? Yeah. Was that Raw or SmackDown? It was on Raw. They they finally were having their, num- their number one contenders for the women's tag titles. They have been for like four weeks now. And they've had two other tag teams fight for the women's tag titles before they've got around to Naomi and Lana, the actual number one contenders. So they were having their match against Nia Jackson and Shayna Baszler. Naomi is wearing this really glowy mask thing that covered her whole head. Like, like disco a, ball. Disco thing. ball yeah. helmet. No. It looked cool though. I ain't gonna lie to you. It was a bit weird, but it looked cool. It looked cool. <laughs> and uh, so, they, so I guess they're now officially a tag team. If they're gonna wear the same ring gear, uh, or similar ring gear, uh, and you're gonna come out together with the same entrance, they're officially now a tag team. Tay, how do you feel about Naomi and Lana as a tag team? I still think it's a weird pairing. Um, I think it's more weird just because. Lana still hasn't really, really got her own presence as a female wrestler yet. Like she, she obviously she was like um, with Rusev and then she's kind of just hopped around different people and she hasn't kind of found her own, like this is me and like this is the type of wrestler I am. She kind of just assimilates to whoever she's tag teaming with. I kind of, she just kind of goes with them. So it's, it's just a bit, it's still a bit weird. I just wish they would let her, like be a single competitor and find her niche and then put her in tag team. Let's talk about Lana because I remember when she when she first first debuted at NXT, I was very impressed with this woman. I was like, yo, this woman, she's a good spokesperson for Rusev. She was great character work. She was over. Remember she got over she used to be. She was so over at one point when she got called up to Raw. With Rusev, they, they, they were both over, and she was the main reason why one of the reasons why Rusev was over as well is because of Lana. And it's just since they put her with Ziggler, ever since they they split her and Rusev up and put her with Ziggler, it's just been a slippery slope for Lana ever since. I don't think she's ever recovered from it. She hasn't really been. I don't know. What do you guys think? I just don't think she hasn't been. She hasn't been the same since. Bro, they, they things things work, and then WWE choose to go and tamper with it. Mm. Like that's basically the long and short of it. Like, um, like you said, she's a she's in her manager or valet bag. That's her thing. Yeah. And like, I don't know why. I know she probably wants to wrestle as well, but at some point, you need to just show her the hardcore evidence, the hardcore data. This is your numbers or your performance level and your crowd reaction when you do this. And this is, you know, the exact same thing when you do this. That's in the ring. And it it doesn't it doesn't stack up. They took her away from Rusev when they were doing their best work. Um, tried to do some love angle with Dolph Ziggler and all of that stuff. Just nonsense again. Put them back together when she was doing the Rusev Day stuff with um, Aiden English and Rusev, and then tried to do some love angle there that she was coming on to Aiden English. Like they want this to be drama, and Lana draws big numbers for them on terms in terms of their like digital spaces, YouTube. Um, TikTok, this, that, and the other, and it's funny when Tay was like, she doesn't have an identity, and people are like, she's latching onto people because that's exactly what's happening. Yet, like, if you take Naomi for instance, Naomi doesn't get as much airtime if she's not paired with Lana because they know what Lana does for her on the socials and stuff, they know what Lana does for Natalia on the socials and stuff, so they're pairing her with people for social media reasons. But she can't keep up with these people in the ring and she hasn't established herself where it really counts. So well, I, I know Lana and Naomi actually have a genuine good friendship back in real life. Um so they I like the I... whole dance thing, like that's yeah, their yeah. thing. Like, yeah, his, like is, I get yeah. it. But Lana, so yeah, so you made, you raised a good point there. So Lana was Ziggler, obviously Rusev, obviously, which you first come on the scene, and that's a, that's a real life husband, so obviously the chemistry is there. Mm. But then it's like so Lana, Ziggler, Aiden English, Lashley. Who else did they do Lana with? She had like one random segment with The Rock. Do you remember? It wasn't like yeah, yeah. Like, when the Rock, you know I remember, yeah. when The Rock tried to move to her, yeah. <laughs> like that, she had to take her from Rusev. Yeah. And then obviously, apart from that, she's been involved in like the Nia Jack stuff of being put on the Jack, table Natalia, nine weeks Naomi. in a row. Yeah, yeah. Just no consistency. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 